everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. I am Reggie and this is Yarniversity. So glad you all joined me uh, here today. Wonderful to see you all. Uh, if you're new here, hi, welcome. As I've said, I am Reggie. This is Yarniversity. This is a once a week live class on a different yarn or crochet related subject. The first half an hour of the live chat is dedicated to different administrative announcements, things that I have to talk about that have to do with the channel and not necessarily with the topic of the class. So if you're with us live and you're not interested in all that pre chit chat, uh, you have time now to go in the toilet, get yourself a drink, get yourself settled down. And um, if you're watching this on replay, you can skip about half an hour into the video. That's where the actual class begins. If you're not sure if you're watching this live or on replay, um, just look at the top of the chat uh, screen. If it says live chat or top chat, then you are with us live. And if it says live chat or top chat replay, then you are watching the replay. Um, whether you're watching replay or live, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, that little red subscribe button down below, I would very much appreciate it if you press that. And if you want to join our membership program and be a member of the channel, then uh, you can press that little join button next to the subscribe button and you will get a full rundown of what it means to be a member of the channel, uh, what it takes from you and what kind of special perks you get in return. And if you cannot see the join button, then, uh, in the description box down below, there is a direct link uh, that will take you there as well. So hello to everyone who's already here. I'm seeing Kat and Anvita and Renee and Lacey. Hello everyone. Alice, hi, and Sonia is here. Good evening to Sonia and Debbie. Good to see you. And D, hi, Granny D. Welcome in. Um, hello, Laura. Very nice uh, that you're all here with me. Um, we have uh, my own Utopia. If you want to let us know what name to call you, um, then tell me in the chat. And Lisa is here. Hi, Lisa. Good morning to you. Good evening to me. Hi, ja uh, Jana. Good evening to you uh, in South Africa. Wonderful to see you all here. I'm very, very glad you all joined me in today. Uh, I have a lot to talk about um, in the first half an hour today. So I'm going to try to kind of like get it in. And you guys who are not new, who you already know that I'm not very, very good with keeping up with chat. So um, if, you know, I talk a lot and I don't read what you're saying and then later on I miss what you said, I'm not ignoring you on purpose. Just write your comment again and I will get to it once I jump back into the chat. Hi Adele, good to see you here. Um, my own utopia is Lisa. I will try to remember that. It normally takes me about two times that someone comes in until I really remember their name. And Chris is here from Andy Warhol's wig. We will talk about you in just a second. Good to see you here. And hi to Catherine from Little Vicious Stitches. And yes, I am very, very... Oh, sorry, Kayleen. Sorry, I read your comment wrong. So your name is Kaylina? All right, my own utopia is Kaylina, not Lisa. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, confused your comment. Kaylina, I will try to remember that uh, for next time. Um, okay, so I think I got everyone so far. Hi to Angela, I just saw you. <laughs> okay. So a lot of announcements today. We're going to start like I always do with, um, welcoming in the new members of the channel who joined us since uh, last week. So in the past week, we've had one new member joining the membership program, and that is Jax from Creations by Jax. So everyone say cheers to Jax. I haven't seen her here yet, but maybe she will watch it on replay. So cheers to Jax. Thank you for joining the membership program. Great uh, to have you with us. We, uh, you know, <laughs> have um, we have a lot of fun in our members only live. Um, speaking of members only live, that takes me to the next announcement. All of you members, um, the members only live for September has already been posted. Uh, if you haven't seen the post um, about the members only live telling you what um, exactly we will be making this month and what kind of yarn you're going to need for the project that we will be making together, um, then that post is already on the uh, community post. Um, 
just go to the channel go to the community tab and look for the post it's a members only post only members can see it and it has all the details from for the upcoming live but i will tell you that the upcoming members only live will be september 15th on uh 7 30 p.m my time if you want to know what time it is in your time zone as always you have to go to the post on the uh, community post press the link and it will tell you what time the live will be so we covered members for this week hi jamie welcome in good to see you um hi david good to see you here welcome 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 everyone all right so next um i am going to remind you all real quick hi christy about um the naughty crochet challenge i am getting uh, an abundance of entries i am so 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 happy uh, a few people have sent entries to my email because they said they're not on different social medias and a few uh, people have already posted on social media either on the, uh, our facebook group or on instagram using the hashtag and a few people have written me emails telling me that they are going to um um to join in by doing a video on their channel so i'm looking forward uh, to seeing that once that happens but thank you all very very much for taking part in the naughty crochet uh, challenge i will remind you all that the challenge only goes until the end of september it is though a lot of time to make a naughty crochet object um, and if you were planning on jumping in on that you still have time but just don't forget to post your entries otherwise you know you're not entered if you you don't know what the naughty crochet challenge is i put the link in the description box below to the naughty crochet live that we had um i think it was two or three weeks ago and in there i explained everything about the naughty crochet challenge there's also a post on the facebook group on the jehu crochet facebook group and if you're not a member of the facebook group yet the link is in the description box below come and join us and on the facebook group there's also a post explaining about the challenge as well so if you were gonna enter uh don't forget to post your entries there are three different ways to post entries and i added a fourth one and i said you can also um send entries to my email so there are four different ways in which you can enter um and you know all you gotta do is uh, make naughty objects <laughs> um did I miss anyone coming in? Um, hi, Mocha. Welcome in. Mocha, did you see that I uh, used your uh, your term in my latest video? <laughs> um, all right, everyone's just talking to each other. So I'm going to um, continue. I have two um, specific shout outs that I want to uh, do today. So first of all, I want to show you the Gotham shawl that Naomi made. And uh, I was, I love this picture. It worked out so nice and you can see that the yarn is, um, is sparkly and Naomi you did a wonderful job on that shawl I love the colors that you chose and I think it looks great when you drape it like this um, wonderful wonderful these kind of pictures makes me very very happy so thank you very much for sending it to me um, and you know you guys know where to find a pattern Gotham shawl it's uh, already out on the Etsy shop if you guys are interested if you shop for anything on my Etsy shop I always remind you guys there's a special discount code for uh, viewers of my channel it's in the description box of each of my videos and you know use it when you shop on the Etsy shop <laughs> um hello Vera welcome in and hello the quilty crochet welcome in um so yeah Nomi beautiful beautiful work um and now I want to show you something else one second I have to get back to me first though <laughs> Okay, so a few weeks ago, we were here chatting along and um, Chris, who is Andy Warhol's wig here on the chat, um, he said that he was actually working on a design of a beanie that looks like it's knitted. And I said, oh, that is wonderful. That sounds really interesting. It sounds like something I would really love to see. Please let me know. And we all said in the chat, let us know when you have a pattern for it. And people were asking if you can get them on the... Um, on the uh on Ravelry 
And this week, um, Chris finished his hat and I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, oh man, can I move it a little bit? Let me move this. Wait, I need to move it. Uh, like this? Yes! And now I can open it so you can see it. There you go! Look! It does! It does look knitted! It actually looks like knits and pearls and you did an amazing job, Chris. Um, Chris also sent me uh, an email with instructions of how to make this hat and I'm going to attempt and make one myself. And, you know, if I succeed, I will uh, share uh, that with you. And uh, we were talking about the possibility of making it into a tutorial, but of course, first I have to <laughs> figure it out um, from the instructions. So. Uh, thank you very much, Chris, for sending me the instructions, for sending me the picture. And everyone here, I invite you to follow Chris on Instagram. I put the link to his Instagram in the description box below. So you guys all go and visit him and, you know, tell him I sent you, give this picture of the beautiful knitted... This is crochet, you guys. This is a, a crochet beanie. It looks like it's knitted. And um, I am... I'm in awe of people who figure these kind of things out. <laughs> um, so huge shout out to Chris. I can't wait. Um, he literally just sent me the email a few hours ago, so I did not have time to start on it, obviously. But I am looking forward to working on it this week. Um, what are you guys saying, Mocha? Wait, what? No, cool. I'm behind in video watching. Um, I'll, I will tell you guys about that video specifically in uh, just a second. Um, hello to Dawn, welcome in. Um, all right, everyone's just saying hi to everyone, so I didn't miss anyone. Oh, hi, Rosemary, welcome in. Um, yes, Chris, it's a beautiful hat. Um, nice beanie, you love the look. Yes, uh, everyone definitely, you know, go. Um, yes, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Hello. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Sandra. Um, yes, yes, Chris. It looks amazing. I love it. I hope everyone else here, you know, go and follow him on Instagram and give him a like and, and like I said, tell him I sent you. Um, Okay, if you've joined in late, hi, I'm Reggie, this is Yarn University. First half an hour is always jibber-jabber about the channel. I was just about uh, to move on to the next subject, but when you come in the door, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hi, Linda, welcome in, good to see you here. Um, the reason I'm talking very, very fast today is because, as always, I promise you guys that the half, first half an hour of the video will be, you know, administrative things. And I have a whole bunch of administrative things today. <laughs> um, all right. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the latest video that I put on my channel that I just told... Um, uh, mocha about so if you guys haven't seen the la latest video on the channel yet it is called fg normal craft online craft shop or something like that something with fg normal i put the link to that video in the description box below as well so once the live is finished you can you know just click on the link and go directly to that video so on that video i that video is not yarn related but it is craft related and it is directed at people like mocha who are holy craft you all. So um, on that video, I showed you guys a haul that I got um, from FG Normal. And um, inside that video, for those of you who do do other crafts, other than, you know, crochet and, and knit and other yarn related crafts, uh, specifically if you do diamond painting, uh, there is something, <laughs> well, there's a giveaway inside that video. So if you haven't watched it yet and haven't commented on on there uh, what the, to answer the question that uh, I asked inside the video, so you'll have to actually watch the video to know what you need to comment in order to enter. And um, if you haven't done that yet, then you might want to do it, you know, right after the live because the giveaway only goes on until the 8th of September. So and then I will be choosing the winner. So yeah, go check out FG Normal. Talking of winners. I have stopped doing um, giveaway winners videos. I have stopped that eight months ago. 
okay it's been a while so i don't do separate videos where i announce who the winner is anymore there is a whole bunch of reasons why i don't do that um but i certainly encourage <laughs> other uh, creators to join me uh in this way um but I don't do videos anymore where I announce the winners. So unless it's a Yarniversity where every week I announce the winner of last week, unless it's, you know, one of these lives, uh, winners are announced in the community tab of the channel. If you don't know that yet, when you go to my channel, Jehu Crochet, the main channel, and there are tabs. There is uh, videos, playlists, and community. If you press on the community tab, you will see different posts that I post on there. It's a lot like, I don't know, Facebook or Instagram. You can post daily posts on there. And that is where I post the winners of different giveaways. Meaning when I say the giveaway will end on September 8th and on September 9th, I will be announcing the winner. That means that on September 9th, that post with the winner's name will be up on the community tab. Now, if you entered a giveaway, it is your responsibility to come back to the community tab on the day and check if you won. Why am I telling you guys that? Because I am having problems with winners not claiming the prizes. So I did that eight months ago when I announced that I'm not doing videos for winners anymore. I said what I'm about to say now and it held up until July. So until July, I did not have problems with winners um, not claiming prizes anymore. But since July, I had a huge spike in new subscribers. And I guess the new subscribers haven't heard me say it yet. So I'm going to say it now again. If you don't intend to come back to the channel and check if you have won, please do not enter the giveaway. I think it is unfair to other people who enter the giveaway and do come back to the channel to check if a person wins and does not bother to come back and check if they won and then you know their the prize is void and the rest of the people you know they kind of get um i don't want to say that but you know they kind of get screwed <laughs> so yeah um please if you enter any of the giveaways on my channel, you need to know I announce my winners in a separate community post, not in a separate video, which means you're not going to get a notification for it, which means you have to come back to the channel and check if you have won. <sighs> okay, so... Um, did I miss anything? Mocha, you love diamond painting, then definitely go watch that video. Sandy is saying, just a quick note, those channels who do not have 1K subscribers do not have a community tab. Yes, but they can still see mine. <laughs> um, not every channel has a community tab, only channels that have over 1,000 subscribers. That does not mean that people who don't have 1,000 subscribers can see my um, community tab, which is where I post the winners. Um, Hello to Gail. Welcome in. All right. Um, community posts do show up on the feed. That is correct. But not everybody go on YouTube every morning and check their YouTube feed for new videos. Uh, sometimes people only go on YouTube whenever they have time and then they choose one video to watch and watch it and then they have no time anymore and they go and do somewhere something else. Which is why I... Uh, remind you all that when a giveaway that wasn't Yarniversity, because Yarniversity, you guys know, at the end of each Yarniversity, I choose the winner from last week. But any other giveaway that runs on my channel, they are not, they don't happen very often, but when they do happen, that is how I announce my winners. Um, hello, Kelly. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do something real quick. just to clarify all right everyone this is the main yarn youtube page of jehu crochet 
this is what it looks like when you browse it on your computer and I believe also your tablet and your phone it probably looks different but uh, this is the main Jehu Crochet uh, channel and up here there is um, videos, playlist, community. You guys see that? This is community. If you press on community, you see different posts that I posted on the community tab. And that is where different winners are announced. For example, um, a month ago when Joyce won um, the uh she was my fairy uh my my christmas in july fairies winner okay so once again i'm gonna do it real quick um this is the home jehu crochet page videos playlist community okay when you press on that that's where you'll see the posts um as i've said i don't do that very often most of my giveaways are ones that are included in the Yarniversity uh, or when I do a special, um, you know, game show or something like that. Uh, and then the winners are always announced live. Um, I guess when you're on a tablet, you cannot see the community tab. Uh, that is not correct. I see it on my community tab. Just popped in to give a thumbs up. Uh, off to have a okay. Uh, goodbye, Linda. Thank you for uh, joining in and uh, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, I had to go to my computer to see the community page. It doesn't come up on my tablet or phone, says Lisa. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, my phone is my backup, but I can tell you for 100% that on my phone, I see community tabs from different channels. So I guess it depends on your device. Um, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Catherine is saying she loves my fairy impression from my Christmas in July fairies video. <laughs> Just curious, what's the difference between the community tab and the discussion the discussion tab? It's not there's not much difference, um, Mocha. Uh, but the community tab um, shows up on people's feed. So um, on the community tab, you post things, and uh, all your subscribers see it on their feed. And um, on the discussion tab subscribers can post uh to you um and vita says she sees the community tab with the playlist channels etc on her mobile yeah exactly um i think i guess it depends on whatever device uh you have and i'm sorry i cannot control what youtube shows or not shows i can only tell you that this is the reason I have my reason why I do it this way and I wish more content creators would have done it this way because it would have helped their analytics. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, whatever. Uh, everyone does whatever they want. This is how I run my channel. And if you are scared that you cannot see the community tab and you have no way to come back to the channel and check if you've won, you can email me on the day that I chose the winner and ask me uh, who won because you cannot see the community tab, I will be happy to answer you, okay? But I am not going to go back to doing uh, winner videos. Um, it isn't available on iPads yet, but can see it on her phone, says Linda, okay? I'm going to have to dig out my laptop. <laughs> um, like I said, Kelly, it, I don't mind if you guys, you know, email me or, or, or message me on Facebook or message me on, on, on Instagram and I will tell you who the winner was. But I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to go back to doing videos. It's terrible for the channel. It's terrible for the analytics. It's terrible for a lot of different things. And I don't have time um, to sit and do a channel. You know, to do a post takes a minute. To do a, a, a video, it's no. Um, it might also depend on how recently you updated your YouTube app, says Alice. Um, if it's out of date, it might look different for some users. Oh, thank you, Alice. That is a good point. 
Okay, so, um, mean, I only have five minutes left. All right, really, really quick. Um, there is a few things I wanted to share with you. So, first of all, uh, if you guys saw, um, I had a video about her uh, Etsy shop, Nicole C. Mendez. I had a whole video when I showed you guys her self stripe hand dyed self striping yarn um that she sells on her shop she does monthly clubs with different themes and today she came out with um a christmas countdown box um that's what it looks like i i put the link to that in the description box below but just so you know um she posted it today there is a limited amount of it um i already bought one <laughs> but the discount code that i gave you guys on my video and i'm going to put it in the chat right now because i forgot to um put it in the description box but i will edit it into the desc description box later um oh my god what did i do oh sorry guys yeah I'm jumping forth and back. All right. Sorry for that. Um, so this is what the... Um, this is what it looks like on the... Um, on the Etsy shop. Her Countdown to Christmas box. And in her Countdown to Christmas box, she uh, is offering four full skeins of hand-dyed self-striping yarns. Um... It's, it's a Christmas, it's a countdown to Christmas like an advent box, but instead of uh, yarn for every day, you have one for each advent Sunday. Um, and yeah, there, the, there are some extras in that. You can read the listing if you want, but I highly, you know, I highly recommend that seller. And this is the one that I got for myself along with the uh, Little Bishy Stitches uh, advent calendar. Those are the two calendars that I um spoiled myself on this week this year uh plus i am doing a advent calendars exchange with Catherine from cast eye catchers so i'm gonna have three different advent calendars this year so i'm very very happy about that um but yeah the discount code that i put in the chat and i will later on edit it also into the description box below and pretty much it's just jhook15 all caps will give you 15 percent off on anything on nicole's shop um, but specifically also on the Christmas countdown box, which I can only say good thing, uh, good things about you guys. I, I mean, I already spoke so much about her uh, on the video that I made of her. I'm not affiliated with her. We're not friends or anything like that. Like I'm not telling you to go buy from her because I'm getting anything out of it just because I really, I really, really enjoy her um, creations. And I think that if you guys like the kind of things that I like, you would like them too. Another thing um, that I wanted to talk to you guys about is a new item on my Etsy shop. Um, and you can see it up here. It is the Mystery Craft Box. Uh, you guys know that I, I've been selling this Mystery Yarn Surprise Boxes for ever since I started my Etsy shop. I think it was the first item that I put on my Etsy shop and they they constantly <laughs> sell out every season and then I put in new ones. So the mystery uh, surprise boxes, the medium and large surprise boxes have been updated to fall edition. So whoever buys them now will get fall worthy yarns. And um, the mystery craft box is a new item that was added to the Etsy shop. And I wanted to share that with you. Uh, what you get uh, in each one of these box, uh, much like the mystery yarn boxes, everything inside the box is a surprise. So you wouldn't know exactly what you're getting. But there are some items that will be the same. Uh, not the same, but the same kind of items. So you will always get 200 grams of hand dyed yarn. But it could be any weight of yarn and every box will be different. Sometimes it will be 200 grams of the same yarn and sometimes it will be 200 grams of different yarns. Um, you will get one uh, handmade pom-pom, handmade faux, faux fur pom-pom. Uh, you will get a selection of buttons. Some of them are handmade, some of them are ceramic, some of them are wooden, some of them has engraving on them, some of them are colorful. So different 
surprise um, you will get different fabrics for quilting or for lining crochet and knit work or for sewing if you sew you they are the the fabric pieces are big enough so that you can sew them into an ocean pouch or make like a scrappy bag out of them or something like that you know to piece pieces together um so uh different kinds of fabrics for quilting lining and sewing and either a diamond painting or a cross stitch or an embroidery item so it will be and it's chosen at random so you cannot choose if you want <laughs> diamond painting cross stitching or embroidery but you will get some kind of item uh, that is related to uh, one of these and three random extras on top of all of those that's what's in each one of those boxes the boxes are curated randomly so yes i do control what goes in them but i am not able to take special requests but if you guys are into these kind of items um then check that out <sighs> okay wow i almost went through everything i have to say but i just gonna see if i missed anything um hi bobby did i say hi to you i'm not sure um <laughs> Alice <laughs> you make me laugh um Reggie have you received a small package or envelope from me no Lori I haven't yet uh I had no clue that I'm expecting one but I will go check my um my PO box tomorrow uh, that's exciting that you will get three advents. Yes, it is. I'm very excited. Um, hello, spring, the fiber enthusiastic. Hello, welcome in. Um, if you came in late, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Um, Sonia is saying, so you're not buying mine? I was planning on different shots of stern drink for every day till Christmas. Sonia, you're just pulling my nose now, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> um, Lacey saying, oh wow, okay, someone tell my husband that I want a mystery craft box for Christmas. <laughs> Put it on your list uh, to Santa. Mocha is saying, how the hell you managed to hit all my major craft in one box? That is so cool, says Mocha. <laughs> Hi, Jax. Jax, you missed your, um, your uh, shout out. So I'm going to do it again. Shout out to Jax. He's the latest member to join the membership program. And I'm going to take another sip. So Jax, if I get tipsy today, it's all because of you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> same here christmas please <laughs> all right um we might have to start up a phone tree for calling the partners oh that is such a good idea <laughs> oh my god lacy that's a, <laughs> such a great idea like i'm calling to let you know that your wife really wants this 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 and this for christmas <laughs> Oh, that is hilarious. Uh, I'm up for that. <laughs> All right. So last two announcements. I swear, I know I'm three minutes over. Please don't shoot me. So last two announcement announcements. And you guys are going to like these ones. So first of all, um, my next big special, you know, with giveaways and stuff and the ones you guys all love will be the Halloween special. And that one will... Even though Halloween is on Sunday this year, uh, I have assumed that people who do celebrate Halloween will have other things to do on that day. So we're not going to do this special on Halloween. We're actually going to do the Halloween special on the 10th of October. So Sunday the 10th of October will be our Halloween special. If you are a maker of any kind and you would like to donate prizes to the Halloween special, uh, contact me. My email is in the description box down below. Um, if you are not a maker not only makers uh can donate i have been getting after the, after my birthday <laughs> uh giveaway i have been getting a whole bunch of emails um people were saying they would really wanted to donate prizes but they're they don't know so let me be clear 
anyone who wants to jump in and donate a prize to the um, to one of my uh, specials is welcome to. All you gotta do is write me an email and tell me what it is that you want to donate. You can choose two skeins of yarn from your stash, send me a picture of them, and that is what you donate to the giveaway. And on the day of the giveaway, I will show that picture and I will say that is the prize. And once I have the winner, I will give you their address and you ship the prize directly to them. Okay? Um, or you can, you know, same with anything. Stitch markers, uh, it can be like little... Um, uh, how do you say accessories you don't have to be making them you know if you have a set of i don't know crochet hooks that you want to donate as a prize or if you have a a, a a little notion pouch that you want to whatever it doesn't have to be something that you specifically made if you are a maker you know if you dye yarn if you um if you make project bags and notion pouches it doesn't have to be someone who is a maker who has a, a shop to donate something i mean if you sew and you make bags and notion pouches but you don't sell them and you still want to donate one of them for the giveaway you can definitely do that so i'm just saying all that because a lot of people i mean like specifically after my birthday giveaway a lot of people wrote me emails and so i'm just clarifying that you can donate anything from a pattern that you designed that you want to you know um one winner will get a copy of the pattern to anything you know think it can even be something that you bought and for the giveaway and you will send that to the winner okay whatever not just makers i am clarifying myself because of the confusion last time so halloween special 10th of october and it would be kind of nice you know if the items donated or or if we can kind of like stick to the halloween theme with colors and stuff like that but it's not a must okay it would be nice but it's not a must you can donate anything you want and if you want to contact me my email is in the description box below um uh okay let me know if you haven't received it and i'll follow up on my own okay laurie i will look it up uh tomorrow and i'll let you know um yay halloween yes uh hi trisha welcome lurkers <laughs> um lazy OMG, I'm lolling thinking about all these partners receiving calls they think are bill collectors and, and really it is just our friends telling them what to get their significant others for Christmas. Oh my god, I'm so down for that tree. Um, nope, for me Halloween is a turn out, uh, turn out the light and hide from neighbor's day, <laughs> Alice. <laughs> Isn't that any day, really? <laughs> Uh, um it's oh really Jax? ah oh, cool yay <laughs> um that is a thanksgiving weekend in canada says judy oh i hope that does not mean that you guys won't be able to join i did not know that i'm sorry um wonder tween who's you wonder tween uh if you have an octopus that can't keep her tentacles closed and keep popping up <laughs> yes yes sandy um i that that uh you can definitely donate her eggs <laughs> but i want to clarify that this is the only kind of eggs that will accept this donation Sorry, I, <laughs> I made myself laugh more than it was actually funny. Um, Trisha, oh, it's Trisha's birthday. Trisha, Trisha, that's your birthday, the 10th of October? Well then, good to know. We will definitely be celebrating. Um, all right, very last announcement, I swear. Um, would it also be okay to celebrate Refor reformation reformations tug what is refor is that the also 10th of <laughs> don't kiss <Burmese> octopi 
<laughs> Promiscuous octopi are great for the naughty crochet challenge, by the way. Um, when is Reformation start? Is that also the 10th of October? Um, all right. Sorry, guys. So, last thing that I wanted to say. I have mentioned this last... Um, last week and the week before so yarniversity is celebrating its one year yarniversary <laughs> um the channel is up since uh, two years or uh, over two years now because you know we celebrated the two years in july um but yarniversity uh is a series that i started last year in november so the very first university, which was um, the my conclusion of my my quest for uh, finding out everything I can about subscription boxes. So you know, if you guys are in a search for a subscription box, that video is still on there. You can still go and watch it uh, if you want a recommendation for a good subscription box. Um, but that video came up last year on uh, October on November 14th and it just so happens that November 14th of this year lands on Sunday as well so uh, on November 14th we are going to have Yarniversity one year Yarniversary so um, if anyone would like again to contribute anything to that giveaway uh, contact me let me know um, uh, but then so yeah so in October the special will be for Halloween on the 10th of October and in November the special will be on the 14th of November for one year of Yarniversity um, Lacey is an October uh, baby too um, 5th of October Lacey that's my brother's birthday same day with my brother. Um, <laughs> you crack me up. Um, no 31st. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, so it's the same day as Halloween. Now I get the joke. <laughs> um, yes, your wonder twin has a, a big mouth. Hi, Irene. Hello to Norway. Ooh, I love Norway. I love... Okay. Catherine and I were just talking last week about a fiber festival in Norway that we really want to go to. Um, <laughs> one year learn anniversary, says Lacey. <laughs> I wasn't reading chat and I heard, can I donate my ex instead of eggs? Oh, <laughs> like who would want that? <laughs> It's not a yarn university, it's a yarniversary, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yarniversity Founders Day. <laughs> I love that. Founders Day. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I hope you guys wrote down all these dates. Um, and I'm sorry that uh, I took 45 minutes today and not half an hour. Excuse me. So sorry if you're watching this on replay and you hopped like half an hour ahead and you saw that I'm still talking. That does not normally happen. I normally keep to my half an hour, but I did have a huge list of things that I wanted to say today. Um, so, but I got everything out now. Um, I'm back. Had to grab uh, Eldest from work. She has forgotten that her legs are for walking. Hmm. Sometimes they needed to be reminded and, you know, if you wouldn't have picked her up, maybe she would have remembered. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, okay, Angela, well, um, I said Halloween special on the 10th of October and Yarniversity one year Yarniversary on the 14th of November. Um, all the October babies are here. So you know what? We're going to drink to all of the October babies. Cheers and happy mm, birthday month to all of you. You want to go to all the beautiful places too? Norway, Netherlands, Ireland, Scotland, Greenland, Iceland. <laughs> 
I've been to Netherlands and Ireland and Scotland. So I did have your list. <laughs> My wedding anniversary is October 1st. Oh, wow, Lisa. Well, congratulations. <laughs> and now we can finally start talking about um, yarn minis, <laughs> right? Ah, blabbering away. All right. So before I start talking about yarn minis, um, I have, you know, a little... Yeah. Why are we talking about yarn minis today? So a long, long time ago. No. Okay. So a few days ago, um, I was packing up uh, the hand-dyed yarn advent calendars that I sold on my Etsy shop. Uh, you knew there was a big reason I love this bunch. All those Libras and Leos are here. Yes, right? <laughs> All right. So, yeah. A few days ago, I... Well, actually, last week, I was packing up the advent calendars. And by the way, if you guys, anyone here, if you bought uh, one of the advent calendars, they have all been shipped out. They are all on the way um, to their recipients. If you are in Europe, you'll probably get it this week and you'll be like, huh, there's still a long time until Christmas. Um, but for the, I, I did send them out um, uh, earlier than, uh, than I wanted to because you know, mail service uh, right now is a drag and I didn't want anyone to not get theirs in time for uh, December 1st. So yarn advents are already shipped out. However, on the process of packing the yarn advents, I have found out <laughs> that I have one set uh, of yarn minis, of advent minis um, extra. And it took me <laughs> a few minutes to realize how that happened. The reason that happened was um, I calculated that I need one set in order to design the, uh, the uh, pattern that goes with the, um, with the advent calendar. So my advent calendars sold with uh, 24 minis, one big hank of one, 100 hanks, uh, hank and uh, a pattern either crochet or knit uh, and the people who bought it could choose if they want the crochet pattern or the knit pattern and in order to develop the patterns I you know took to myself one set of the minis so that I can see how it works out however um, I was impatient and I started developing the pattern and working on it with a set of minis that I already had um, and so I ended up not using that one set of minis that was meant for the advent. And so I had one advent set left over. Now, that advent set, set is not exactly 100% the same like the other ones. How is it not exactly the same? Um, because that set was supposed to stay with me. Um, I did not have the little um, baggies that I ordered uh, for the ones that I sent out. So um, they, this extra advent, once I sent it out, the little minis will be wrapped uh, a different way and not in the little bags like the other ones. But other than that, that advent set will include everything that the other advents include. And why am I telling you guys that? Because um, when I figured it out that I have one advent set left over and um, I, I posted on the Facebook group and um, on the YouTube community tab and I said, will anyone like to purchase it? I will, you know, because I will sell it for a lower price uh, than the advents sold because it's not exactly the same. Although, as I've explained to you guys now, that is the only difference between the two is that there is actually a, like the minis are packed differently um, individually um, but there were no grabbers for that so I guess everyone already have their advent calendars or they just don't want mine um, so I have decided um, since if if no one like if no one buys it now it will be too late to ship it out and for someone to get it in time for 
um, for Christmas and I don't want that, right? So I've decided that I'm going to give it away on Yarniversity. However, and I hope that you guys understand that, um, it costs a lot of money to produce one of these advent boxes, which is why, you know, each of them sold for 150 euros. Um, so I am, you'll take the extras. Um, wait, do you want to, do you want to buy the extra set? Let me know before I continue talking. <laughs> if it was a joke, then I'll continue talking. If you actually want to buy it, then uh, then let me know <laughs> so that I will stop talking. Um, but until then, I'm going to wait a second until um, Sandy... Uh... Really? Okay. Um, I was not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sandy, I'm gonna write it down and I'll I'll email you after, okay? I I'm sorry, I was not ready for that at all. But thank you, Sandy. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so um, forget everything I just said because that was a story uh, as, as, a, as a preparation for something I was about to say, but now I'm going <laughs> to say it. <laughs> um, no, it does not. It does not totally messes my video today. It only messes what I was about to say before the video begins. Um, so the whole story was... Um, okay, I'm gonna tell a story anyway. So the whole story was that um, the reason why we're doing Yarniversity, what to do with Advent Minis today is because um, I when I posted um, asking people if anyone would like to get the, the extra Advent that I have, um, I have received s numerous emails from people who were interested, but they were like wary as to how exactly to use minis. Plus, um, a few weeks ago, or I think it was already last month, when I was talking to Catherine from Cat's Eye Catchers, um, she mentioned that there are a lot of people like around this time where advents start to sell and, and um, there is also like uh, those sets of... Um, Halloween minis and like pretty much every holiday now has like a, a countdown box with different minis and there's even like um, yarn clubs monthly yarn clubs with minis uh, actually I think um, Catherine's I, I don't think I know that Catherine from Little Bish Stitches has one of those as well and those yarn clubs you know with the little minis people see them they they really want to get them they love the little minis but they don't know what to do with them so because it's a subject that came back uh, so many times and because I have just finished um, designing not one but two advent um, minis patterns, you know, one for knit and one for crochet, then um, I thought that this is the perfect timing to have this kind of live where we will talk about what to do with minis so that those of you who were wary about maybe buying a box but didn't know what to do with it or those of you who ordered a box and had no clue what it's going to end up like uh will have some ideas and or maybe you always you know go to stores and buy these like mini sets <laughs> um and i'm not just talking about mini hacks from hand dyed yarn i'm also talking like these like yarn bonbons, the little ones and those little discs and um, these kind of, you know, mini cakes. Um, we all see them and we say, oh, they're so cute. Oh, what are we going to do with them? So um, what I was going to say before is that um, I had one set left over and I wanted to give it away. But the way I was going to do it is by doing, um, you know, because it, it costs a lot of money to produce one of these. Um, 
and I wanted to like at least get <laughs> some of the costs back. Um, I wanted to do it in the in the terms of a um, of a super chat giveaway, uh, which you guys know that I don't do often because I don't really like that. I don't like when when people um, you know say you know, that everyone who's super chat, I'm going to put their name in that. I only do that when I do one of my specials. And that pretty much I the reason I do that is to cost uh, to cover the cost of shipping out all the prizes that I'm shipping on those um, on those dates. Um, but since uh, lovely Sandy grabbed uh, the advent box, then I'm you know, I'm not gonna do that, which means, you know, I'm very actually, I'm actually very, very happy because I don't like to do <laughs> super chat giveaways because I thought, I don't think they should be called giveaways. It's more like super chat raffles, right? Because you actually pay to, you know, put your name in the, um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> that's the end of your university. Um, Yeah, <laughs> I've been here a bit, but have to walk the fur babies now. Okay, Verna, thanks for being here. She's probably already gone. Um, yeah, right. They are so cute. So many people buy them because they are so cute. Um, so first of all, thank you, Sandy. I highly, highly appreciate it. And you know, I put your name down, and I'll email you later, and um, and we'll settle that. And you know, like I said, I'm not gonna. I, I, I already said that before. I said I'm not gonna sell it for the same price of the other ones because it's different, and uh, and it wasn't meant to be sold um, from f first place. The only reason I didn't buy it earlier is because I was certain you'd have already sold it. So many people must want it. I'm thrilled. Oh, I'm so so happy, Sandy. Yeah, I had a very limited amount because there is like you guys all know how like stress my time. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to like really limit the amount of advents I do and I will probably continue limiting the amount of different surprise boxes, advents and countdowns that I do because working on them takes a very long time when time is one thing that I don't really have right now. <laughs> okay, so you know what? We're going to do something else. Um, so inside the advent box, um, we have uh, a pattern so it's either a crochet pattern or a knit pattern because each person who bought uh, the box could choose if they want a knit pattern or an advent pattern and i designed both of them so whoever is interested since these two patterns the crochet pattern and the um uh knit pattern they are surprise patterns which are exclusive to the um, advent box, which means they will not be sold as separate patterns elsewhere. Only people who bought the advent will be will have access to them. Um, so what we're gonna do instead of um, the advent box, I just suddenly came up with an idea. Instead of that, if anyone here is interested in having just the pattern, either knit or crochet, um, of the uh, um, of the advent calendar um then you know just put like 99 cents on on the super chat because you know it is a paid for pattern and it is you know otherwise if i would have sold it it will probably be like 350 like all my other uh patterns and then you know in the when you do the super chat right if you want the knit one or the crochet one and and after you do it you gotta email me because i have no other way to contact you and I will have like a list of who wanted the knit and who wanted the crochet. And when you send me an email, I will email you back um, a copy of the pattern. Okay. Um, and I actually have two of my pattern testers for the advent here in the chat today. So I think they can attest that the, that the patterns are really beautiful. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> I think, but I think both of them are some of my best work. Um, the crochet pattern is stitch tastic, says Jax. Yeah, Jax actually um, tested the crochet version. Um, yeah, so uh, if anyone is interested in a copy of either the crochet pattern or the knit pattern that is included in the advent, like I said, if it's, you know, if you do like a super chat of, you can only, you can do like, I don't know what's the lowest thing that you can do on a super chat, but um, just so that, you know, it will feel as if I am, 
<laughs> getting something for working on the pattern and then um i will email it to you um yes and catherine is the the knit pattern tester and she says it's gorgeous thank you too Okay, I've already taken an hour out of this live, so let's start talking about what you should do with mini hanks, mini cakes, mini skeins, mini everything. Um, because, you know, that's what we're here for. So, first of all, if you joined in late, I'm sorry that we are studying late today. This is not a regular thing for your university, I promise, and I'm sure everyone in the chat can agree with me. Um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And now we're gonna talk about Advent Minis and what to do with them. And... Debbie! <laughs> Thank you! Um, Debbie, let me know if you want the, um, the crochet or the knit one and cheers to you. All right. So, uh, minis. Um, <laughs> so there's, like I said, there's something about mini hanks or mini skeins, mini cakes, uh, of yarn that's just so super cute. And we all want to, you know, take them home and hug them and nurture them and cuddle them and hope that they will like grow <laughs> into a bigger skein of yarn, right? Um, but we know that's not gonna happen. So what can we actually do um, with mini hanks, mini skeins, mini cakes, little yarn bonbons, um, other than, you know, hoping that one day they will spontaneously turn into something. <laughs> um, and that's what we're gonna uh, answer today. So, um, like always, I always like to start with the question and I want to ask you guys, have you ever had like a mini set or like bought, either you bought it as a set of minis or you bought like different uh, minis here and there and, you know, put them together into a project? And if so, what was it? So this is the question that I want to start with and I want you guys to let me know in the chat uh, what did, you know, you do with your minis. Um... Knit. All right. So Debbie is in knit. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't realize I have more. Um, oh, thank you, Alice. Alice is in crochet. All right. Cheers to you, Alice. <laughs> And, oh, and I have another one for the knit. Um, thanks, Anvita. Cheers to you. Um, wow. If I would have known that I have so many subscribers that like to knit, maybe I would have written more <laughs> knit patterns. Um, nope. Angela says she never had minis. Hi, Julie. She just got in from church. Um... Sandy's saying, yes, I received a, received a set as a gift. Um, that's okay, Julie, don't worry of being late. Um, we have, uh, oh, we have another one from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Cheers. Um, crochet, I saw. Okay. Uh, Lacey saying, I've bought a set of minis and made a couple of bracelets for my daughter. Um... That is an interesting idea. So jewelry. Okay. Um, oh, one more from Perfectly Imperfect Crochet. Cheers to you. Um, and I'm looking down the chat real quick to see if you say... Ah, crochet. All right. Um, everyone who does this, just don't forget to email me because I have no other way to contact you back. Okay. Um... Dawn is saying she has a set, not sure what to do with it, uh, and it's sitting on the shelf for now. Uh, Sandy is saying uh, if she takes a sip for every purchase, we could really get her tipsy. <laughs> yes, that happens sometimes here, Sandy. <laughs> Catherine says um, she does have minis. She loves them. She's made mandalas, coasters, plant 
planter cozies and shawls. Ooh, planter cozies is a good idea. Um, Mocha is saying, I've got the Christmas set of Minnie's cottons from Hobie right now. Uh, gonna make cup cozies and coasters, maybe an ornament or two. Oh, that is a wonderful idea. How difficult is the knit pattern? I am very new to knitting. Um, I think Catherine can answer that. I think it's not very hard. Um, get another bottle, says Dawn. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, Catherine already answered. She said, um, the hardest stitch is a knit front and back. Uh, I would say it's a beginner friendly. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, it's beginner friendly too. I've also got the Mandela craft cakes, um, says Mocha. Um, are those uh, like mini mandalas from Lion Brand? I, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, Judy is saying, I got an advent last year, advent set last year that didn't come with a pattern and a Halloween set that came with a pattern I didn't care for. I don't care to make tiny things. I want to use them in something bigger. I totally agree, Judy. Um, Sonia is saying, that's why Reggie switched from wine to beer today. <laughs> you got me there. Um... Ooh, Bonnie got knit and more. Cheers to Bonnie. Let me know. I assume you want the knit, but let me know. Um, Sonia is saying, of course, I use minis for makeup pads and soap sacks. And she sighs because she does not like to crochet. <laughs> Um, Jax is saying, I have a loops and threads mini set, but have not found a pattern that calls for them yet. <laughs> yes, Sonia loves to torture herself by crocheting. <laughs> I would love to make mini amigurumis out of mini sets, says Alice. That is a good idea, too. All right, so some very, very nice ideas there. Um, yes, they are mini cakes in DK weight, says my aunt. Uh, mocha so the the mini craft cakes from mandela okay good to know um bonnie knits and more please let me know uh which um file i should put you in the crochet or the knit um and oh we got one from jana thank you jana cheers to you what is um, Z-A-R. What kind of uh, coin do you use in South Africa? I'm not familiar. Sorry. Um, I was just wondering because I saw it. Uh, thank you, Jana. Um, I'm gonna wait. I, I, I assume you want the knit because of what you just said, but let me know. I have quite a few want to make a wrap, says Quilty Crochet. Reggie, did you forget to buy more wine, thus beer today? No, actually, the reason I'm drinking beer today is because we went to the supermarket and um, I saw that they have Kilkenny. That is an Irish red ale that I love. I've actually been to Kilkenny um, in Ireland, so I had to get it. And since, you know, then I had to drink it. <laughs> so, why not? Um... Would love to try the knit pattern, please. Okay, Jana. Wait, Jana, you actually got one of the advent sets, right? Did you choose the crochet one? Um, I have quite a few. Want to make a wrap? I sorry, I read that already. Um, I actually am starting to enjoy it. Weirdly enough, not sure that's good. Oh no, Sonia, that's addictive. <laughs> um, oh, cheers to Mocha. You guys, South Africa Rand Zuid in South. Oh, in Afrikaans. Okay, now I got it. Thank you. Zuid is South in Afrikaans. Okay. Um, I found a very cool seller on Etsy that sells minis in a bag. Uh, wait. Oh, my chat is running in a bag that are from. All sort of different dyers. It's like a sampling. Ooh, that is really cool, Lacey. Hi, Denise. Um, thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> yes, of course it's possible. <laughs> 
Thank you. I'm going to put you in both. And of course, I'll cheers again. Now I'm waiting to see what Mocha wants. I assume it's crochet, but let me know. Um, you love Kilkenny. I love Kilkenny too. Yes, one of the best places in the country, says Alice. And she knows she lives in Ireland. <laughs> um, oh, okay, Jana. Um, if you remember being to Kilkenny, you didn't really went to Kilkenny, <laughs> right? Someone told me uh, I went to the Guinness Brewery. Can't remember a thing. Well, I actually did not drink that much at the brewery, um, at the Guinness Brewery, because you only get one um, uh, pint for free and the rest you have to pay for. So I didn't like, because literally any other place in I, in Ireland where you'll get a pint of Guinness is cheaper than at the <laughs> Guinness Brewery. Um, so I just got one pint there. But yeah, I did get drunk in Kilkenny and in Galway and in a lot of other places. <laughs> Hi, Mary Bell. Um, Clapjack. I would make baby mittens and booties with minis. Um, I could always combine with other minis. Exactly, because minis are easy to combine. Um, Sonia, I would not have that problem at uh, Guinness. I might at Kilkenny though, says Catherine. <laughs> All right, Lisa, thank you. Yeah, don't forget to email me, everyone. Um, I had to look it up. The shop name is Dear Mina Yarns, if anyone is interested in the mixed bag of minis. Catherine, it will mean a lot to me if you take a second and drop the link in the chat. Um, yeah, right? <laughs> Privileged reserved to the tourist trap, exactly. Hi, DV, welcome in. All right, so great ideas, everyone. And, you know, now I'm going to tell you what my ideas were. <laughs> so uh, working mi with minis, I think one of the things that most people um, like are scared of is that it's a very, very small amount of yarn. And what other than maybe like tiny, tiny amigurumis or like very tiny objects can you make with this tiny, tiny thing? So someone said here in the chat and you are very very correct that you can always combine minis but then again if you don't get them as a set uh like making sure the colors and the the the, the um fiber content and all of that match um can be a bit of a drag so uh here are some ideas to different ways in which you can use minis that always work and you know um hopefully it will help you guys and get, you know, first of all, if you had a fear of getting one of those boxes uh, of minis or um, you like you, you were unsure about these kind of things. And now I hope that this uh, live will, you know, put that fear out of your mind. And if you don't have a fear of buying them because you buy them all the time, but you just have no idea what to do with them, I hope that live will help you. Um... Although I'm tempted to get the knit pattern since I'm the only one in my crew that, that only crochet. I think I'm going to go with a crochet. All right, so Mocha, I put you on crochet. Um, all right, so here are some ideas that I had. Now, the first thing I thought about, and I think that is like, it's like an easy solution but maybe not a lot of people think of it right away. So I think pretty much anything granny, right? So for some reason, the granny stitch uh, and all various granny motifs work very, very good with minis. You can make a whole bunch of granny squares or hexagons or triangles, um, each made of a different mini. And in the end, put them all together into either a blanket, a pillow cover, a cardigan, a maxi skirt, uh, you know, a coat. There's uh, the possibilities are really endless of what you can do with granny squares and 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 the granny stitch, which I think is why it's so popular. Um, another op uh, option is to make something using the granny stitch, not 
like granny motifs but specifically the granny stitch and use a different mini for each row in this way you can create a very very large number of wearables so you can create sweaters tunic dresses cardigans um, as well as you know accessories like scarves beanies leg warmers shawls whatever granny stitch is very very easy to do it's very very beginner friendly and uh, because of the way it is made you you can start a project without actually having a finished project in mind and see what it evolves into right so it can start as a scarf and end up as a blanket because if you just keep adding rows then it's big enough to be a blanket if you make it like long and narrow it's a scarf but you can end on any row and it will look the same and you can even like add to a granny project a year after you finish and it will still look the same as long as you didn't put a border around it right so because the granny stitch is pretty basic and very easy to do it works up very very quickly and in addition it's one of those stitches that uh let the yarn shine right so there are a few of those stitches around there where the stitch itself is not very very busy so if you have yarn that is speckled or with very very short yarn changes the granny stitch is perfect for that kind of yarn because it lets the yarn shine and the stitch is kind of like in the background um and like i said you don't always have to have a specific project in mind um you can start something and in the middle decide it going to be somewhere else start a blanket make it into a bag you know um it doesn't really matter um but i think the for specifically for minis um mini mini cakes like this one um i think that uh making you know just make two granny squares out of each cake and in the end put them all together somehow uh you got a yarn advent and you got a Whole bunch of minis um each mini most yarn advents most of them again not all of them but most of them are um 20 gram minis and if they are in um in fingering weight they are about 80 meters each which means you can make those mini squares that you see here on the screen you can make about i don't know five squares of each mini and uh five times you know 24 days of advent and then uh either you put them all together or you add the, the squares in a contrast color like they did on this um picture here and you already have a pretty big blanket right so that making just start making motifs like choose a motif hexagon a uh, uh um square a <laughs> circle i don't know just start making the motifs uh in in like, like make the motifs until you're out of minis and then figure out what you want to um, connect them into and i think that is you know one of the most perfect advent um or minis project um now like i said minis they minis can wait let me put me back on camera so when we talk about minis, it can be these kind of minis, which is the sets that you will uh, buy from from dyers. Uh, this is um, when you'll get minis from um, from indie dyers and people who do hand dyed yarn. They can look like that, or your advent minis, but they can also just be very very small yarn cakes. Um, in its definition, minis is everything that is less than a full skein of yarn. Now, here in Europe, <laughs> it's different than overseas. Um, the regular skein of yarn can be 50 grams. So anything under 50 is mini for us. Uh, I do believe that in the US, the regular sizes are about 100 grams, which I think is three and a half ounces, if I'm not mistaken. And, and anything under that can be considered a mini. <clears throat> um, you love the blanket. <laughs> um, 
grannies are good for scrap yarn also yes that is correct pretty much any project that um that is meant as a scrappy or is designed as a scrappy project will work with minis as well <clears throat> um you did that too catherine hexi blankets are also a nice project for minis or scraps from other projects that is correct um pretty much anything we talk about today you can you know exchange the word minis for scraps and and use the same <laughs> same idea um you have to lock up the chickens Catherine. if you need to lock up your chickens uh this is a reminder from sonia i have someone else locking up my chickens today so i'm good <laughs> it would be really fun to make mini motifs and then combine them into amigurumi animals oh that is another wonderful idea um those uh, I, I saw many of those uh, African flower uh, animals, but you can make hexi out of pretty much uh, any, you know, hexi. It doesn't have to be an African flower and then make them into animals. That is a wonderful idea, Sandy. Thank you. Um, Sabrina is saying she never have, but if I had one, I would make ornaments or small toys. Yeah, definitely. All right. So anything granny, like I said. My next idea is anything moss stitch. <laughs> um, and, oh, damn. I did not grab the picture for that. One second. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, I did not grab my um, moss stitch picture. I'm very, very sorry. So you have to look at me while I talk now. <laughs> um, but another great stitch um, is uh, the moss stitch. And um, this is another wonderful stitch uh, for projects that are made with minis. Um, there's something about the moss stitch, uh, the... the um, pattern that it creates that gives the illusion of the colors blending into each other even if they are not a fade of colors so even if the colors don't necessarily follow each other on the color scale um, using that stitch uh, it gives the illusion that they blend into each other um, and it is is perfect to uh, to use with with different minis because even if you have like a lot of minis but they are i don't know you bought a lot of sock sets <laughs> um and you only use the big hangs and you had a bunch of minis that are like different random colors and they don't really go together so the moss stitch kind of makes them go together which is something that i really like about that stitch it's a very simple and easy to do stitch again very beginner friendly um and it, here's something that if you never worked with a moss stitch before, maybe you don't know, but the fabric that the moss stitch creates, it's a little, um, it's a little thicker because of the double rows. So because you always work one stitch into two rows below, you sort of like, um, have like a double layer and that creates like a, a bit, a tiny, tiny bit thicker layer, um, or, or, or fabric. Yeah, fabric is the right word, um, which means um, even if the yarn that you have, the, the mini that you have is a thin kind of yarn, the overall um, fabric that you get, the overall effect will be thicker, which makes it good because if, if, you, if we're talking about yarn minis that are fingering weight or sport weight or even DK, um, using the moss stitch, which give this like a little bit of a thicker texture to the final fabric, can make them winter worthy while the other otherwise maybe won't be like if you use a very lacy um sort of pattern then uh then it might not be like very warm when you wear it um so the moss stitch does make whatever you make with it a little more thick than it would otherwise be if you use a different stitch and a lot like the granny stitch, the moss stitch lets the yarn shine. So it's one of those stitches that is not very busy. It doesn't create like an over noisy pattern. Um, and the yarn talks. So if you have yarn, a lot of yarns that are different colors that you think putting them together will be loud enough in a project, um, then you should choose a very, very simple stitch to do that. 
Um, also, a good thing about the moss stitch is that a lot like the granny stitch, you can really make anything with the moss stitch. You can make socks, you can make sweaters, you can make fingerless gloves, scarves, shawls, blankets, home decor. It really is one of these stitches that can be really used for any item. Um, and a lot of... Um, a lot of the of these projects that you can make with it, um, you can make without deciding right away what it's going to be. Again, I'm not talking socks and fingerless gloves because, of course, if you want to make socks, you got to start socks. And if you want to make fingerless gloves, you got to start fingerless gloves. But um, a lot like the granny stitch uh, with the moss stitch, you can just like make a very long chain and start making the moss stitch. And it will either end up as a scarf or as a blanket or you fold it in half and it's a bag or you fold it a different way and it's a pillow cover and it's fine. Like that's something that the moss stitch and the granny stitch have um, in common. In common, sorry. Why did I say in common? Um, yeah, so anything granny and anything moss stitch. Those were my first go-to stitches um, to make something with minis because I think they let the stuff blend together very, very well. And there's a very large amount of projects that you can make with them. So what do you guys think about these two ideas? Let me know and I'm going to try to catch up on the chat. Um... It's not dark enough to lock them up. If I go now, they run out again. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, crochet Christmas bubbles. Yeah, um, it looks gorgeous, but I'm a little spooked by moss stitch. Not sure why. Really? It's so easy. I mean, okay, I have um, one pattern that I designed with the moss stitch. It's the, the Chester Mills socks. Um, and I gotta say that I didn't work a lot with the moss stitch before I, I designed those socks. I did do a few projects, like a shawl here and there and so on. But the using that stitch for the socks really made me realize how versatile that stitch is. And I, I love it. There are so many things you could make that are uh, either small items or any size really just combine different colors to make a shawl or lapkin actually anything yeah well <laughs> mosaic with a solid color and minis would look very good as well yes i agree uh there is another great idea um exactly what happened here now <laughs> says sonia oh no <laughs> no your chickens <laughs> oh no um, yep, I have those socks and just haven't got the courage to try them yet. Alice, try them. I really want to try the chevron moss. Ooh, that is uh, another great pattern as well. All right, so um, if you walked in late, hi, I'm Reggie. This is Yarn University. We're talking about different things that you can make with minis. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the like button. If you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership program, the little join button down below will take you and tell you everything you need to know about the membership program. Um, we welcome anyone, really. Uh, I had a whole bunch of announcement at the beginning of the video, which I'm not going to repeat because it literally took me 45 hours to do them. Oh, 45 hours, 45 minutes to do them. <laughs> so um, if you came in late, I highly recommend that you, uh, after this video goes into replay, that you go and watch the replay or at least the first 45 minutes <laughs> uh, to know uh, all the different things. A 10 stitch pattern would be great with minis. Yes, I love 10 stitch patterns. Um, hi, Madonna. Cheers. I want to do a year project granny blanket. Um, start a club in January and make one square each month. That would actually be great with mini clubs as well. Yes, I agree. I would love to try a granny triangle shawl with the moss stitch. Uh, waiting for Hooked by Robin to come out with that tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny. <laughs> um, 
All right. So anything granny, anything moss stitch, I think those are, you know, the go-to stitches that you should have in mind when you're working with different minis. Another idea that I had was use it as contrast colors in projects that require small amount of contrast colors. So there are many patterns uh, that requires um, one or more colors in very small amounts to contrast the main color of the pattern. And it, that's like because the pattern has a certain color effect in it. Depending on the kind of minis that you have, uh, this could be a great opportunity to use them up. Uh, typically, hand dyed minis are, like I said before, about 20 grams, um, but there are also 50, and depending on where you live, 75 and 80 gram uh, can also be con considered as minis. Um, but if your pattern requires such small amounts of uh, yarn of a certain contrast colors, then you can use the minis instead of breaking into a bigger skein of yarn that you have. So if you have a pattern and it says you need this and that amount of the main color and then 20 grams of a contrast color or 20 grams of that color and 50 grams of that color and so on, then those small amounts, instead of taking them from a big skein and, you know, use, <laughs> breaking into a new skein and then having so much of that skein left over, but it's not exactly a full skein. And then for the next project, you want to use it, but it's not a full skein and so on. So here is where minis come to play. And uh, you can find such requirements in objects like shawls and sweaters, um, but also in different amigurumis and this is you know all of you who like to make amigurumis uh there are a lot of patterns that have like color work in them or that when you crochet the amigurumi body um you crochet their clothes so they will have like four rows of one color for the shirt or just a few rows of another color for pants or skirt or shoes and those little amounts of yarn that is where you use those minis um of course, uh, the best example for exactly such uh, projects are socks, where uh, a lot of people like to make, uh, like me, the uh, the toe, the heel, and the brim in a different color, uh, which is you know perfect for minis. And sometimes some people, <clears throat> Catherine, also make socks that have the brim in one color, the heel in one color, and the toe in a different color, and they use three different minis in one sock. So, you know. That is one of the most um, like easy or the th first things that come to mind, at least for me, uh, for use of minis. And I wanted to show you one second if I can find that again. Okay, so. I found uh, this picture, which I thought was great for exactly our discussion. Okay, this specific one um, is red, blue, and white, but exchange those three colors with any other colors you want, and those tiny amounts of red and white can very well be a good use for your minis. You know, just make a whole bunch of these in different colors, stick them on head, ba uh, head bows, hair bows, how do you call them? Uh, and sell them to little girls at craft fairs. Um... You think Blossom Crochet has a tutorial for a triangle moss stitch shawl? Um, I'm pretty sure she does, yeah. Um, oops, sorry, have to go now, guys. Have fun with your minis. Thank you for being here, Catherine. I highly appreciate it. Um, and hi, life's a jam. Uh, I like that idea of using minis for contrast color. I am guessing that a 10 stitch pattern means 10 different stitches per row, 10 repeats. No, 10 stitch pattern is um, when you have 10 stitches uh, and you just work those 10 stitches. You work those 10 stitches back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then you make a corner and then you go back and it's like it. most 10 stitch patterns create like a, like a spiral blanket of 10 stitches. 
So like the 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 thickness of the piece that you constantly work on is only 10 stitches and um I wish I could but I can't because I'm live on YouTube but otherwise I would like pull out a picture for you uh from the internet but it goes um so you make like wait let me put me on so you make like 10 stitches and then you work them back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth until you have like a um rectangle a long rectangle and then you make a corner um which means you work like like you you decrease and then you increase again and then you have 10 stitches again but instead of going this way they go this way and then like you turn and then you work down and then you turn and you work down and you you create like a square spiral with those 10 stitches um the crazier the sock the better <laughs> yeah what four colors in one sock who does that <clears throat> i know one person um yeah that's blue that was blue red and white um you love the bow yeah i would make like a whole bunch of these bows put them on 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 like we say Haarreifen. How do you say in English? Bows. No, head bow, right? And then, you know, little girls walk with them and they have like a big thingy here. Bow. <laughs> um, reminds you of a quilt. Jana says, oh, I've never heard of that 10 stitch pattern. I'll Google it. Yes, Google it. Um... Try to write something now, Alice. <laughs> uh, I've never heard of a 10 stitch pattern, but that sounds so interesting. Really? You guys never heard of a 10 stitch pattern? Um, hi, hey, hey, uh, HD, how are you? HD is, by the way, another one of my advent pattern testers, so she can also attest to its quality. <laughs> um, look totally black on her screen. Oh, okay. Um, did it work? Okay. Um, a hairband? I don't know. Those like bows. Because they're not bands. They're bows. Aren't they called bows? Uh, did you cut your hair? Yes. <laughs> I did. A few weeks ago. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Hi Chris. Welcome in. Um, Haarreifen? Alice band? Like Alice in Wonderland? Is that what you call them? You could also wear them proper as bow ties. Yes, you can actually. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Cheers, Alice. You're a moderator. <laughs> but now you know I don't have many moderators on my chat. Until now, I only have Ka I only had Catherine and Catherine. So if I ever call you Catherine, don't be offended. <laughs> I don't make anyone moderator on my chat, but now you have a job. You actually have to moderate and fetch links for me and, and count comments when I do giveaways. So you might regret it one day. <laughs> um, we'll start as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, no, don't don't worry. No rush. Um, it was just we were talking about the advent patterns before. Madonna is saying... Oh, British English. Madonna is saying most 10 stitch patterns are Tunisian, but not all. I actually made crochet. I made one crochet. I wish I could fetch. I cannot fetch my picture now. <laughs> um, but yeah, a, a lot of knit ones too. Thank you, HD. <laughs> all right. So um, we said contrast color. And my next idea was anything that's either a stripey or a fade pattern so let me um just get the picture first all right so stripey patterns such as this um a lot of time require uh 
smaller amount of each color depending of course of what it is but they require a smaller amount of its color because you're making stripes and not like constantly using the same color however um you need to open your mind and even if a pattern um creates stripes but calls for only black and white like this picture um you can very easily adjust this pattern to be stripes in different colors right like think rainbow um you know every stripe a different color follow the same pattern but switch up the colors uh of the of the stripes so any stripey pattern any any pattern that's designed as stripes for some reason because you know it must be a design element um is good for minis it's and that's uh it's the same for fade patterns and much like you know the previous option where we talked about contrast colors um but only now <laughs> instead of using the contrast color the minis only for the concert contrast color you create a striping pattern all throughout the pattern um rather than you know combining the minis with the full skeins you use only minis and you make stripy projects um and there are plenty of patterns and uh, that that make you know use of different kind of stripes this is exactly the category where um mosaic crochet falls into this is exactly the cate category where all those um, fade shawls that you have like a one color and then a shorter stripe of the next color. Again, the main color, two stripes of the next color, and then you fade the colors one each into each other and so on. You can do that with mini skeins. All you got to do is like shorten the length of each color and then you can get 10 mini skeins in the shawl instead of like the big hanks um and as i said there are plenty of patterns out there for this kind of stripey or fade effects um and each of them could be perfect to make it with minis um you can always take any regular pattern it doesn't have to be a pattern that's designed as stripes and make it into stripes or into a fade pattern um and using you know the mini yarns that you selected and it is just important to remember that when you're using several minis together, the striping effect makes the design busy. So you, like we said before, choose a pattern with simple stitches, uh, which doesn't take away from the color. And one more thing you have to consider, especially when it comes to shawls. And that is very, very important because I know a lot of you like to make shawls. If the pattern is uneven, uneven meaning it's not a rectangle rectangle wrap it's some kind of pattern that grows so you know triangle half circle half hexy whatever yeah if it's a pattern that that grows um the striping effect makes uh, the stri striping effect varies as the pattern grows you you understand right um so whenever it has increases or decreases the thickness of the stripes will change as the pattern grows um and you might also come to a point where the length of one hank or skein or cake that you have is not enough to make the whole row um which is something that you need to consider when starting uh in which case you might want when working on such patterns uh, not to use the full mini, but to use the same amount of each mini throughout the pattern. Um, it wouldn't always solve the problem, but sometimes it will. Um, but, you know, just take into consideration if you do make some shawl or wrap using your minis, um, the best kind of pattern to go for would be something that is an even shape, like a rectangle and not something that grows um i do 10 stitch blankets on my knitting loom says eileen recently my daughter cut her hair for a charity and she gave 14 inches yeah i gave mine away too um oh a fade <laughs> be still my yarny heart yeah i love fades too um smexy stripes <laughs> uh hello sandrine welcome in all right so stripey or 
fade patterns. Um, now, I do have a few more ideas, but before we talk about the few more ideas, um, if you're joining late, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. You want to join the membership program. We spoke about all of that. There were a whole bunch of um, announcements at the beginning of today's uh, show. So if you weren't here, I highly recommend that you come back and check it out and today's giveaway. So, um, as you know, on every university, uh, we have a giveaway and we choose a giveaway for next week. Now, um, today, as expected, I uh, would love you for you to come back to the video when it goes into replay, leave a comment and tell me about different projects that you think about making using minis or a different project that you've already made using minis. Um, and this will be the entry into this week's giveaway. Now, this week's giveaway or what you will win is a mystery set of minis. Now, this will be a mystery set of hand dyed mini hanks, but I will not show them to you. It will be a surprise when you get them. Um, and along with the set of minis, I might throw in a few little extras. So that is today's giveaway. It will, without a doubt, be a set. When I say a set, <laughs> think like five or six of them, not 24. It's not an advanced set, okay? But a set of uh, mini hand dyed hanks of yarn that you will be able to combine into a small project. Uh, I think maybe something like a beanie, a scarf, a cowl, a chalette, um, this kind of thing. And um, you will get uh, five or six, I don't remember how many I put in there, mini hanks of hand dyed yarn and some uh, lovely extras. So that is today's giveaway. And like I said, in order to enter that, you have to come back to the um, video when it goes into replay and leave a comment down below, sometimes between now and Yarniversity on next Sunday. Um, hi, Fiona. Fiona is saying, this is great as I have a, a bundle of Sheephees minis. I got free with a crochet magazine subscription and have no idea what to make with them. Oh, you got these little bonbons. Oh, I love those. OMG, a mystery mini set. <laughs> Fingers crossed, says Lacey. <laughs> All right, so this is today's giveaway. As I've said, come back to the video, comment down below, blah, blah, blah. You guys heard it. Right. Um, so my next idea, uh, some of you have already mentioned it and talked about it before. And that is small projects and amigurumis. Now that is, you know, for those of you who don't want or don't think they can or are scared of or just, you know, generally don't want to um, uh, combine several minis into one uh, project. So there are plenty of small projects that require small amount of yarns and anything from mug rugs, coasters, mug cozies, key hangers, jewelry you guys said here before, um, garlands like you see in the picture, coin purses, Christmas ornaments, different wreaths that have a lot of elements in there, small decorations, etc., etc. And these are all great for using minis. That is also where amigurumis come to play. This They fall under the same category. Um, and these are good for minis of all sorts. So anything from your hand-dyed uh, mini hanks from your advent or countdown boxes to, um, you know, the little uh, cute yarn cakes that you rescued out of the uh, <laughs> store um, or just like... Um, uh, bonbons uh, that uh, someone just mentioned in the chat. So the fiber content doesn't matter because most of these projects that I have just mentioned are projects that you don't 
um, put in the wash or have to special care for. So, you know, when you make crochet um, jewelry or ornaments or um, or coasters, uh, you don't normally, you know, put them in the washing machine or, or care for them in any specific way. So there's no no need of thinking of combining different fiber contents or am I using the right fiber content or will it work with that fiber content? That worry is totally out of the door um, with this option. Um, and as I've said, amigurumi fall under this category as well. And in fact, there are certain yarn companies who market their mini skein sets as amigurumi sets, you know, the ones that I just referred to as bonbons. They um, they sell them in sets of minis and they call it, you know, amigurumi set or amigurumi cake, you know. Um, and that is specifically aimed at those people who make amigurumis, use very, very small amount of yarns in each one of their projects. And it is maybe easier or feels better to work with a, a skein or a hank of yarn. It's already small uh, rather than, you know, always breaking into your bigger hanks. So something to consider. And uh, if you do make amigurumis, I want to introduce you guys. Uh, I have spoken about this in the past. Uh, this is Miss Bulldog Crochet. Um, he is, I I don't remember his name, excuse me, um, but he makes uh, amigurumi patterns and he makes the cutest amigurumis. He sells them on Etsy, he sells his patterns. They are in Dutch and English and I know I have people in my chat speaking both. So, um, you know, if you like to make amigurumis, he has really, really, really cute patterns. I have made several of them. Um, some of them are even like amigurumis that open up and you can put something inside. So, um, for example, this uh, birthday cake that you see here, it's actually like, uh, like a little box to put your stitch markers in and um you know the uh, the little chick is an easter egg uh holder and so on so he has like really a lot of really really cool um patterns so and they use very very small amounts of yarn so i just wanted to mention him again i think the last time i mentioned him was last year so i think once a year to mention his business um is okay i again am not affiliated with him i don't know him we are in no way in personal contact he doesn't even know who i am i doubt he does even know that i talk about him on my channel um but i highly recommend his um his patterns um i'm new this is my first time watching your live i'm from los angeles california I first saw your channel during the Christmas fairy. Oh, hi. Well, Sabrina, welcome in. Cheers to you. We welcome newcomers. Um, great prize for D to win next week, says Madonna. Lori says, my son is here to help with cutting up uh, some big tree branches that fell in storm last week. Uh, I'll have to catch up the replay. Oh, okay, Lori, uh, I assume... Uh, you already left, but uh, that sounds very dangerous. Um, I, I hope you guys are okay. Um, oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Lori is leaving me to run on TV. Oh, wow. I'm on a big screen. But I didn't do my makeup. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, Lacey. Exactly. Those wind spinners, they fall exactly under the same category. Uh, oh, I'm so glad you guys like the group of yarn. I like the, our yarn university group as well. Well, you're a fun bunch. <laughs> I actually never considered crocheting Christmas ornaments. I still don't know if it fits my aesthetic, but then yeah, yeah, try it. Um, the garland is awesome, says Kelly. A great idea. Um, Alice says, yep, and I have never fallen into that trap. <laughs> I suspect they charge a little more for the bomb bombs novelty. Um, yeah, Alice is an amigurumi person and, uh, she says she's never fallen into the yarn company's trap. Uh, the ones who, uh, uh sell their yarns as amigurumi yarn. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Catherine is saying uh, the patterns are so cute. Not bad is also an amazing Amigurumi designer, says Alice. Alice, you're a mod now, so if you can grab the link and drop it in the chat, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Um, oh, there's an Etsy designer that does a series of pocket Amigurumi that come in their own little pockets. Oh, that's so cute. That sounds really cute. Um, dang, they're cute, but on Ravelry, they are, there are no fo photos for the patterns. Yeah, I know. Um, but you know, you can look at the pattern in, in, um, on Etsy and then you know which one it is on Ravelry. Um, and, uh, if you like the designs of Miss Pultow Crochet, he has a Facebook group. Um, I'm pretty sure if you write Miss Pultow Crochet on Facebook, you will find him, but, uh, I don't remember right now the exact name of his group. And every once in a while, he will put free patterns on his group just for the members of the group. So if you like to make amigurumis, it pays up to be like a member of their Facebook group. Um, still too much light. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to... <laughs> you tried? <laughs> Catherine, did you try? I don't know how to knit well. I taught myself in 1982 to make a washcloth. Then I stopped because I didn't know how to end it. Um. Oh, I wish you knew how to knit. Well, we are crocheters as well as knitters here. Um. have <laughs> to go back a second time. <laughs> Um, oh, all right. I totally missed that Sonia was the one who tried to put the chickens in again and it was still too much light. <laughs> now I get it. Um, Vera loves to crochet amigurumi as well. So Vera, there were some very good ideas um, here in the chat right now about where to get some good amigurumi patterns. Um... I have no idea. I never heard of not bad, but now uh, Alice dropped the link so I can look afterwards. Um, snowflakes match most aesthetics. Yes, I agree. That is a good idea too. All right. So um, another idea that I thought of that I think is like a very simple idea is to put borders and embellishments on other things. So use the yarn minis, bonbons, cakes, whatever you have, and add an interesting border to a shawl or, you know, give a twist to a other pattern. Or maybe you would like to add some cross stitch element on top of a crochet item. Um, sort of like, you know, embroidery or, or cross stitch on an item that you've already made. Like if you make a scarf in single crochets and then you cross stitch or do some kind of embroidery um, in yarn on it in or instead of, you know, making a graph. Does it make sense? So these small yarn amounts of like the mini skeins are exactly what you need for that. And um, on the blog post... Oh, man. See, I knew I'm going to forget something. So... Today's live um, subject, today's topic is already on the blog <laughs> and the link to the blog is in the description box below. So if you came in late or you have to leave early or whatever and you want to read about it on the blog, so the link is already in the description box below to the blog post. And on the blog post, I put a link um, to uh, a tutorial a very, very good tutorial about how to cross stitch on crochet. So if you have a crochet item and you want to do some kind of embellishment on it in cross stitch, that is a perfect tutorial for you. And I've actually seen some very nice scarves that are like just a simple single crochet scarf and then you do cross stitching on top of it and like write the name of the person it's for or just like say love you or do a heart or something like that. Um, and I, I really like that uh, because it's, it's easier to do than to change color while you're stitching the work in order to create, you know, the letters and everything. So it's easier to just make the whole project in one color and then use 
another color to cross stitch on top or embroidery on top of your project. So there's a wonderful tutorial for that. The link to the tutorial is in the blog and the link to the blog is in the description box below. Um, and I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you guys about the blog in the beginning, but I was talking about so many things in the beginning and it just totally slipped my mind. Um, but yeah, small yarn amounts, um, bonbons, minis, leftover yarns from other projects are perfect for putting border like a, a different color border on a project that you just finished um i use like a lot a lot of times i use um small amount of yarns to do a border on a shawl that will like give it an, a kick like a different color so it will look like it's an actual border not just part of the yeah you get what i'm saying right um this lady is also a font of amigurumi knowledge. Okay, thank you for all the links, Alice. Um, I will check it out afterwards, but all of you guys in the chat, you can like press the links and open them in new tabs already. Um, but does it fit my, my 1920 Christmas ornaments? Probably not. Um, you would use them to make little pom-poms too, to add to the border. Yes, yes, exactly. Add little pom-poms. I crocheted now for 50 years. I think I need to focus on learning to knit something for babies. Why? You can crochet for babies. Um, yes, Sonia. Cheers. <laughs> you... You've managed to lock in the chickens. Cheers. <laughs> um, get a claptrap gets an, a daily amigurumi pattern into her inbox um, by lovecrafts.com. They are small but quite cute. Do you have is probably something you sign up for on their website? Yeah. Um, cross stitching sounds great on a project says Debbie. Yes, definitely check out the tutorial. I think it's by the make and do crew if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's really good. Even found the missing kitten uh, second time around. Oh, wonderful, Sonia. Um, yes, right? Fringe, pom pom, um, castles, they fall under this category like embellishments on finished objects. Embroidery in crochet is really fun, says Lacey. I made a bandana one time for my um, my fur niece <laughs> and embroidered her initials and some uh, flowers. Super cute and whimsical looking. Oh, Lacey, that sounds amazing. Mocha is saying uh, it also adds awesome depth to a project. Uh, I've never cross-stitched over crochet, but I have embroidered. Yes, I think it's a wonderful idea. Um, Simona Crochet has amazing crochet baby clothes, says Jana. I believe that is uh, for Sabrina. Okay. So, last but not... Well, actually, no. I do have two more ideas. So, um, of course, I think that it's, um, you know, it's... it's it goes without saying <laughs> that any advent or scrappy project pattern will work for minis. Now, I'm going to put up a picture and you all know it. <laughs> You've all seen it before. 10 points to the first person who tells me the name of this pattern. Come on, you all know it. <laughs> Jesse needs a bandana. I think Jesse will not like a bandana. So, um, of course, the easiest way uh, to use mini skeins is using patterns which are originally designed for uh, mini skeins. Um, patterns which are written uh, to use either the 24 mini skeins um, of advent that are included in advent calendars or patterns that are written as scrap projects 
um, are you know the perfect choices for exactly such pattern uh, such projects um, each year there are thousands of designers just like me <laughs> who include um, their designs in specially curated advent or different countdown boxes because there's also like a Halloween countdown box and countdown for fall and countdown for your birthday and New Year's Eve boxes and so on and or they release them as special crochet alongs around the holiday season and they are all designed to use with those minis so all you have to do is open Google, <laughs> open Ravelry, um, write it into the search bar, advent uh, crochet pattern, and you will get an endless selection of possibilities. Um, and the number one <laughs> most common item for advent patterns is shawls. Um, but of course, you can also find advent scarves, advent table runners. I've seen, I've seen advent tree skirts, um, beanie shawl and fingerless glove sets, and so on. So even sweaters, uh, some uh, advent sweaters. So there's like really an abundance. And if you go to the blog post, uh, like I said before, on the blog post, I've linked a few different patterns uh, that I found. Um, so yes, of course, you all recognize the Just Feel Festive shawl. Um, this, uh, is one pattern that was, like, super, super, super popular. Everyone made it. And I think that, I mean, first of all, this, the pattern was designed to use with Advent Minis. So, with Mini Hanks. Um, but... A lot of people use it as a scrap project or just made it with a color changing yarn cake and so on to get that uh, funny striping effect. But this is exactly what I was telling you guys about. It is a pattern that doesn't have a change in size. So the color length is the same with every color. And it is granny stitch. So both of them mixed together equals perfect advent pattern uh, which i think is why uh it was that popular um so of course you know uh using that pattern specifically for any kind of minis it doesn't have to be advent minis but any kind of minis would work perfect with that pattern and like i said on the blog i put out a few other patterns that i found for you guys um that include that and of course like i said uh at the beginning if you would like to have my advent design, either crochet or knit, all you gotta do is, you know, drop uh, like 99 cents or something like that into the uh, super chat and telling me if you want the crochet or the knit version and then write me an email uh, and I will email you back with the pattern. So there's an abundance uh, of these kind of patterns out there. Like I said, everything that was designed to be an advent pattern, of course, and everything that is designed as a scrappy pattern uh, works with minis as well. Um, and when all else failed and none of the ideas that I came up with today, uh, you know, strike you fancy and um, none of the ideas that other people in the chat uh, gave today uh, were interesting to you or or um, sparked your imagination and gave you some inspiration so if all else fails <laughs> Um, you can always use your yarn minis in a creative way uh, you know remember how cute and beautiful they look right because that that's why you bought them in the first place they're so cute so just you know um stick them in a vase and uh put them <laughs> on your table and um you know have a mini bouquet that's a way to use them too <laughs> um You've never seen or made one of them. Really, Jana? The Just Feel Festive Shawl? You definitely have to try it. Um, 
Hello! Hi, Inaya Soybox. Um, man, your name always escapes me. Is it Laura? No. Is it Sarah? <gasps> I know it. I know I know it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Um, run through the forest and yarn... Run through the forest and yarn bomb gnome houses with that. <laughs> Run through the forest and yarn bomb gnome houses. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Catherine said she'd seen some some cute yarn wreaths. Um, Urban Yarn's Festive Dragon Chevron is perfect for minis too. It's a Just Feel Festive and Dragon Belly mashup. Ooh, I have seen that on his channel. I didn't realize he um, he released a pattern for that. I've seen the one that he made. Elisa! I swear I will remember it for next time. I'm so, so sorry. Um, no, honey, I did not buy yarn. This came from the florist. So it doesn't count. <laughs> right? Right? At the other extreme, says D, I bought a few mega balls of yarn a year ago um, and they are decorated in my yarn room. <laughs> Maybe we should have a yarn university of what to do with mega balls. <laughs> my laminate stripe would work with minis uh, like Granny's just long and rectangular. Yes, exactly. Uh, then use white or black borders to connect them. Yes, I think that falls under our first category of uh, making different motifs. I have to use my yarn. Can't just look at it, says Lisa. <laughs> I actually like looking at yarn, but I like using it more. Um, Elisa is saying she just made the tendril with minis. Um, did I see that? I don't think I saw that yet. Um, all my minis are currently living in a fishbowl as decoration. Oh, that is cute. A fishbowl full of minis. I just want to feed them. <laughs> and male, they grow. Oh. Yes, Jana, I was going to suggest my laminate as well. Uh, says Catherine. All right. So, you guys, that pretty much concludes, you know, the ideas that I have. I hope that some of them were new to you or some of them were interesting to you or some of them gave you some ideas as to what you can make with minis. I hope that, you know, watching this live, uh, if you had fears uh, before of getting different uh, advent boxes, countdown boxes, mini sets mini yarn mini clubs and so on uh, i hope that this helps uh, i have been getting as i've said in the beginning a lot of questions about it uh, a lot of people wrote me like what are you gonna do with it uh, what can i make with that um, especially last year when i was subscribed to the mermaid's purse yarns um subscription box and i got minis literally every month i got two minis every month along with the big hank and people and I said I told everyone I'm saving them to make a big mini a project with all the minis and people were continuously asking me in the comments what sort of um, projects can you make with minis because they have so many of them and they don't know. So I really really hope that uh, today's live was helpful in that uh, um, you know that term uh that, that they answered everyone's questions and they put some of your fears away and i think it also comes in a very good timing because all of these boxes uh at least let's say 80 percent of them uh, are still available in different places different sellers still do sell um uh mystery halloween boxes and and mystery fall boxes and i've seen mystery christmas and new year's and just um winter in general boxes i personally have ordered myself a hanukkah <laughs> hanukkah advent uh, which i am very very much looking forward until it comes i did not count it before when i told you guys the other advents that i'm going to get because it's not an advent it, it's it's a hanukkah it's an eight nights <laughs> 
<laughs> it's an eight night um like you open a gift every night of Hanukkah, which Hanukkah has eight nights um, or eight days, and uh, <laughs> I like I like the advent that has twenty four. Um, but hey, come on, it's not a competition, right? <laughs> so um, you know those boxes are still out there. There are plenty of them uh, for sale. So I really hope that you know having the ideas before you purchase um, will take some of the you know uh, questions in your mind away. Um, Dawn is saying she needs to do a fish bowl. Um, now that's the kind of bouquet she wants, <laughs> says Debbie. And Sabrina says, please explain how to enter your giveaway rules again. Thank you, Reggie. Um, I will explain in a second, Sabrina. Uh, use my mermaid's purse yarns for the tendril. Oh, so that's what she made. Okay. I need to see that now. Now I want to go see that. Um, very helpful. Can't wait uh, to use my mini, says Jana. Um, I made a lacy scarf of minis of mini colors out of bonbons that came out of my um, DIY advent calendars last week. Uh, look pretty cool. Are you mean? Do you mean your darn good yarn advent? I made a lacy scarf of minis colors out of the bonbons. That, yeah, I think you mean your darn good yarn, right? Um, my friend insisted of me buying him a twister cake, although he isn't at all a yarny person. He keeps it by his computer and just looks at it. Well, they are. They are really pretty. I gotta say, they are right. They are so pretty. Um, awesome bouquet, forget flowers, <laughs> I want, right? Yarn is, it doesn't die, it doesn't, and you don't need to water it, and could also make little coin purses or cases for hooks, yeah, right, we said that under a small project, it's always a competition, Reggie, <laughs> it says the non <laughs> it's always, a okay. religion is always a competition, um, hi, Marshall Lee. Welcome in. You want Mini Canes Mobile? Ooh, oh, oh my god. Like, just take the canes and make them into a mobile. And then when you sleep in your bed, you'll have, like, Mini Canes flying above your head. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so about the giveaway someone was asking me for. All right. What we do is on Yarn University is every week I show you guys what is for the giveaway for this week so this week is the surprise mystery mini skein sets and what you have to do is we are now live so once this live goes into replay meaning once the live is finished this video uploads on the um on the youtube channel as a normal video which you can you know watch again and again and again as many times as you want so you come back to the video after it's no longer live once the live is finished and then you will be able to leave a comment down below. Right now you can't do it because everything you write goes into the chat. So once the video is finished and it goes into replay, you come back to the same video and comment down below. And I asked a specific question. I said, leave me a comment and tell me about a project that you have made using minis before or kind of project that you would like to make or suggestions that you come up with for what you can make with minis and next week on your university at the end of your university i use the random comment picker on this video and i will tell who the winner is and you will get a demonstration of this right now as i am uh, going to take you guys with me to the random comment picker um Let's see before if anyone said anything else. Uh, I asked Chris, you could look in my Vlogmax playlist from last year to see it actually made two scarves. Uh, the IDs are limitless. That is correct. A wind spinner mobile made with mini skeins. I'm going to make that happen. Yes, I want to see that mocha. Please post the pictures once you're done or when you did it. So now you're going to get a demonstration of how it works. So pay attention. 
here is the YouTube random comment picker. Here is last week's video or last week's Yarniversity um, link. And I have filtered duplicate users. So only everyone can only enter once. And I'm going to get the YouTube comments and we're going to see, oops, something went wrong. Let's try again. Aha, and we have 22 comments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. And last week I asked a question. Last week's Yarn University was about recycled yarns. And I've asked people to tell me if they've ever used recycled yarns before. And if yes, what did they make with it? So if the person who commented on the video did not answer the question, they will be disqualified and we'll have to choose another winner. And if the person did answer um, the question, they will have one week to contact me. They have to email me. My email is in the description box below and send me their address to tell me where they want their price to be shipped. Now, when you send me your address, please don't forget to mention what country you live in. Don't assume that I know I live in Germany. If you don't live in Germany, I probably don't know where you live. So don't assume I know where you live. Give me your full address so that I can ship your prize to you. Okay. So here we go. This is for the yarn bowl and the yarn stickers and Anvita uh, is saying I love cutting stripes and joining them to make yarn from cotton jersey t-shirts and I use these for making bathroom rugs and floor mats. These are the absolute best for soaking any moisture and they provide padding for the feet as well. So Anvita uses recycled uh, jersey t-shirt yarn to make mats and that answers the question which means Anvita is the winner and she wins the yarn bowl and the car stickers from last week so cheers to Anvita congratulations to you wonderful prize you got there Alice is saying a wreath of minis needs to happen mukbangs and more hello you're new to the channel welcome in. cheers everyone we have a new subscriber cheers whoop, 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 whoop. don't forget to hit the like button welcome in i'm sorry that you're coming in in the end but join us next sunday we start at 6 p.m berlin time i'm not sure where you're from so you'll have to calculate by yourself uh what time it is where you start but you know you're more than welcome to join us next week um cheers to you That's okay, Provis, it's fine. Um, you can always watch the replay and congratulations to Anita. What am I drinking? I am drinking Kilkenny Red Ale Irish Beer. Sorry, I haven't been on your lives. Oh, you're not talking to me. Okay, congratulations to Anvita. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful, everyone. Yes, uh, for those of you who are going to watch the replay, um, there is a whole bunch of announcements at the beginning, things that have to do with the channel, things that are happening in the channel over the next few weeks. Um, so check that out. I remind you all to please don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. I'm going to, as always, leave the chat running. If you uh, donate to, through Super Chat to get the uh, one of the advent patterns don't forget to email me if you are the winner of any one of the giveaways don't forget to email me if you haven't yet watched my video about fg normal with the giveaway hidden inside don't forget to go watch it once uh, the live is finished and uh, have a wonderful week <laughs> Uh, thank you all very very much for joining me today and i will see you uh, next time, uh, cheers and bye! <laughs>